Howdy class. This is a quick video to show how we can convert um, code from the traditional way to build a two-dimensional list from that to the, uh, the one-line method that comp compacts all of this code into just one easy line using uh, 2D list comprehension. So what we're going for is one line, using comprehension and how do we then get this kind of configured so let's let's take a look at how we would build that uh, first i'm going to change my pen color here to, to blue to show um, and this code right here uh, will do exactly what we're wanting <clears throat> it will build using for loops two nested for loops a uh, a list of lists which is a two-dimensional list uh, we remember from comp sci 140 how a two-dimensional list is really nothing more than just a list of lists. And because of that, we can have jagged lists, just like in Java, Java can have jagged arrays. And that means that this list can actually uh, be imbalanced. And um, some rows could have 10 elements, other rows could have five, and that's just fine because it's a, simply a list of lists. Um, in this case though, we're gonna build a balanced matrix or a balanced two-dimensional list where the rows and columns are all consistent. Uh, the number of columns is consistent throughout the rows. Uh, so this code here will do exactly uh, what we're hoping for um, in the for loop approach. This is gonna create a 10 row, five column, two dimensional list, and all of the values are gonna be a thousand. Now, just to show that this, this works, let me um, pull up Uh, the notebook here, and I hope that everyone can see this okay. Um, here is that code, and when we run it, it does exactly what uh, we predicted. <clears throat> it's going to populate a 10-row, five-column, two-dimensional list, all with the value 1,000. If we wanted to replace this value with something else, let's say 500, we just simply replace that, and there's our uh, 2D list of 500s. And clearly, if we wanted to replace it with random integers, then we would put that code right here uh, in place of the 500. So now the question becomes, how do we convert this to um, syntax that will let us use um, list comprehension? So hang on one second. I'm going to go back to the iPad and share that. Oop, hang on a second. It's making me do this each time. There we go. All right, hopefully you can see the, uh, uh, the kind of the whiteboard now. And here's how we will juggle this. Now we definitely will need, um, since this is one line and we are doing a lot of drama and it's gonna end up in one list called overall, then our code is gonna start with that overall equals, and then we'll have something. Now we know that overall is gonna end up being a list. So we could go ahead and just put in um, at the start, the list brackets, the square brackets, and that will uh, let us know that we're creating a list. Now, usually what we would do is if we were creating um, this with just a one dimensional list, well, then we just simply put um, that we're going to do something in here and then for blank in range 10. Now, in this case, we don't need to put an index variable here like i or j because it's insignificant. Um, we don't ever use that i or j anywhere in the for loop we just want something to run 10 times. Uh, so since the index variable is not important, you can substitute in the, uh, the underscore character and it just bypasses that. So in this case, whatever we put here in the underlying part is gonna be repeated 10 times for, for blank in range 10, all right? So the question then becomes, well, what are we repeating 10 times? And that's what we're doing here in this uh, uh, outer or the inner loop. So it's almost like this outer loop for loop syntax is gonna go right there. 
for blank in range 10. Now the question becomes, well, what do we put in the, uh, uh, in the middle? Well, we know that it's gonna follow this exact format. We know that we're gonna create an interior list and that list then gets um, added to the overall list. And that then becomes a list of lists. So in the interior here, we're gonna have to put another list in there. So let's put in the, the square brackets again for that interior list. And this is just gonna be, well, you know, normally we would put something and then for whatever the loop is gonna be. So let's just leave this something out for right now. Here's something. And then let's just put this for loop header right here for blank in range five. And now we just have to figure out, well, what do we put in there? And in this case, we're appending the number a thousand each time. So this number goes right here. 1,000, 1,000 for I in range five, that's its own list. And then since it's nested, we then go to the outer list and add in the extra four blank in range 10. So this ends up looking just like this code. Just like that. All right, so I'll give you a second to kind of write this down or, or get a good navigational reference for it. And then we'll go back and look at the, uh, look at the code that's gonna make this successful. All right, so we're back in our Jupyter Notebook. And then here's that code that's gonna do exactly what we said, this is what I had written up there on the whiteboard. This gives us a thousand, let's change that to 20. I'm just in a different mood right now for something smaller. This inner, uh, this inner list is in, a, in and of itself, its own declaration of a list using list apprehension. And we just then nest these to go and abstract at one more level. So here's the inner list. That then is gonna get repeated and repeated and repeated um, 10 times. So. When we put this to run, there's our uh, 10 row, five column, list of 20s in this case. So I hope this helps um, uh, with that particular lab problem and uh, good luck. And if there's any questions, just pop them on the uh, discussion board. Thanks everybody.